Hello everyone, I am Venrith and welcome to some Derail Valley. So for those of you unaware, Derail Valley is a game made by Alt Feature, I believe it is. And it's predominantly made for VR, but you can also play in 2D, which is the mode I'm playing in right now. So the idea is that you um, take a job out, you hop in a locomotive, you couple up to, some, to the wagons that you've got to take somewhere, and then... As you can see right now, we're in machine factory and town by that little flag. And so, for example, we're going to do this job today. So it's saying all these empty cars to food factory in town, which is up there. So we're going to have to get in the locomotive, hook these wagons up and then take it all the way along the line here. And we're going to make sure that when we do that, that uh, first of all, we change all the points. We've got to make sure we most important thing that we do not derail that's critical because there's no way to recover from that at the minute um you can see there's lots of uh interesting industries uh, and chains going on here so you, you know I th this game's got loads of plans it's got a massive update coming up out should be this year um so yeah i believe it's an early access game and I've played it quite a bit, to be fair, and I really enjoy it. So I'm going to do this mission. So what you do is you, you can pick a mission. They're all on the table, like so. And then once you pick one you want to do, you go for the job validator. And as you can see on the, on this screen here, it's a 37 minute time bonus. If we do it in 37 minutes, we get a nice little bit of extra money, which is cool. You don't have to do it within that time frame, but yeah and it also says it's 186 tons of train mass and the train length is 133.58 meters so first of all we accept the job oh and it drops the book on the on the floor so once you get this book we've now accepted the job you can sort of see it's telling you the numbers of the coaches so if I just teleport around a bit, because like I say, it is a VR game, so it has got teleporting. And as you can see, I think it's this rake here, because you've got one green wagon, one brown, one green, and then loads of greys. And then just to confirm it, as you can see under the green wagon, it says CBX005. And it says that on, on the next one, CBX006. And it matches what's on this booklet here. So that's the rake that we need to pick up. So, and it also does tell you that it's on track S11, which if you look here, it says S11. So that's nice and easy to find. So we've got to haul it to a food factory in town and drop it off at track S07. So first of all, we are gonna need to go and get a train now i do believe i saw one further down here i did awesome so we're going to use the diesel today right this is where you um obviously repay your engine uh and stuff and get oil and sand and fuel i'm just going to hide this map for a little bit first so i'm going to hop into the loco and now as you can see, like I said, this is built for VR. You can walk around this cab, you can flick with the buttons and move the levers and stuff, and it's great fun. Uh, so what we're going to do is get started. So to get started, we're going to flick up these three switches. One, two, three. And then we're going to turn this knob to the side. And there we go. Engine is started. So if we look at the gauges here, we're good on oil, but we're very good on fuel as well. So we can actually get going and we're good on sand as well. So to get moving, reverse up. That's not reverse up, that's the reverse up. Put that into forward. Uh, break off, that should break. And then that's your throttle. And there we go, we are off. Right, so you've got 
the bottom here, I've got a switch remote. Now this allows you to change junctions remotely. So if I look back there, you see it's set to go left. If I press the button, it's set to turn right. So you can just change points from a distance, which is pretty useful. So I'm just going to throttle back and coast very slowly. You can also hop out and go make sure that you've got all the points set correctly. So that one needs changing. That one needs changing. Did I miss that one? I did miss that one. Teleported past it. And as you can see, you just go along like so. Uh, we want to be all the way over there, so we're going to have to come all the way back. There we go. And then we can run all the way back and hop in the cab. And this is where we can just back a little bit more throttle on. So, yeah, the, um, apparently, like I said, there's a massive update coming out for this game at some point. And there's going to be quite a bit of change going on. Um, but it all looks really promising so far, from what I've seen. So I'm just going to go down there to where the uh, last point is. And then I'm going to set it up for coming back and hooking up to those wagons there. So it, it also takes into account of weight as well. So like right now, it's very easy to pull off and move about. Um, as we get loaded up with these wagons, it's going to be very difficult to move about. Because you can have all that extra weight behind you. Right, that needs doing. Let's just teleport along a bit. Uh, that one is doing and then I th believe it's that one we want isn't it yep so now we need to flip the reverse around release the brake and we'll start getting back now you've got to be sure uh, be really careful not to smash into the wagons because it will derail and like I say in this early access build there's no actual way of recovering from a derailment it literally just stays on the map forever unless you reset the entire game from what I've heard Let's slow down a bit now. We want to come in nice and slow. And this is where sometimes key binds come in very useful. what you want to do is just approach it and just tap the buffers yeah a little bit too much there but they are in range so this is your coupler and uncoupler what you do is you use the dialed slats wagons they'll come up as pips on the top there green button obviously couple red button uncouple hit the couple so you can sort of see when i move that dial it flicks in between so you can just uncouple those wagons but we won't do that right now so now if now i'm gonna get started right 
brakes off. Throttle up. On. So you have to watch like the engine temperature as well. If you just completely gun it all the time, your engine temperature will break up. So you have to sort of throttle back now and again. You have to keep an eye on it because you will damage the loco. Um, I think possibly the same with the oil. So yeah. So what I'll do now is I'll go back down to the job. And it's saying we want to enter on track. We want to be on track. S07 when we go into food factory and town. So we'll go to station maps. No, we'll go to world map first. As you can see from the world map, if you look at sort of like the top centre, you'll see we'll enter the food factory in town from the south. So we go to the station map, we find food factory and town. it just food factory on that I think it might have been yeah okay food factory it's not going down so S07 if we're coming if you look at the on the diagram at the top it's saying southwest so these aren't all facing north so you've got to bear that in mind so we're coming in from the southwest so what we want to do as you can see we want to go straight on at the first point straight on at the second point then we need to make a left and then sort of like a sort of leftish again probably and then a right onto SO7 and that will then put us on track SO7 where we can drop these off so the other challenge of course is getting them there and you've got to get get all these there safely. Easier said than done sometimes. Like I'm just cruising at 20 now. Might be able to get a bit faster. Got a bit of wheel slip going on there. See? So you can either put some sand down. That'll stop the wheel slip. As you can see. Or just throttle back a bit. So I'm going to throttle back a bit because I don't want to derail these. And they will derail very easily. So it's just a case of keeping on your speed. you got to listen out as well because sometimes they'll like make a squealing noise when they're struggling. no um, markers for like if you're going downhill or not, no gradient markers so you kind of have to guess it and look I'm picking up a load of speed there so I'm going to throw it right back and actually I'm even going to apply a little bit of uh, brake to be honest because if you take one of these corners too quick you will derail I'm squealing in the background. I do believe. So I'm gonna slide right down. That could have been the brakes actually making that noise. A lot of it is guesswork, so you just gotta be like really careful. What's that over there? Iron Ore West. So we've got to go through Iron Ore West to get to Food Factory in town. So as you can see on the world map, we've got a point coming up. If you can see the blue dot on the top left. That point is coming up. So you don't really have to change them if you're approaching them from this sort of angle. But sometimes that's all good anyway. i just like to be sure. Plus some brake on, slow us down a bit. We seem to be going down quite a rate. Picking up a lot of speed, we were. So we've got no throttle on whatsoever. So it's a very nice looking game. 
And I do believe it was nominated as one of the best VR games of 2019 as well, so... Well done to the team for that one. Let's see, we pick up speed again. Let's have got zero throttle on. I'm going to slow down because I think anytime there's like a, a sort of tightish corner, there's a good chance if you're going too fast, you will derail. Can I turn the cab lights? Yes, I can. Cool. So we seem to be more on the flat now because the speed is sort of not picking up but it is dropping so I might put a bit of throttle on temperature is good oil is good fuel is good fuel is going down though but we should have plenty for this trip Put a bit more throttle on actually. I think we might be going uphill. So I'm going to look at the world map. We're about to enter Iron or West. So what I've got to do is be ready to switch to open track. we don't want to end up running into the back of other cars. So I'm going to throttle back now. Be ready to decide which way to go. So let's go that way. No, 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 that way. Uh oh. Oh, got lucky there. I didn't know when it was set in. I was getting slightly worried that some of the carriages were going to go in a different way. <laughs> there we go, we've got a clear track all the way through. So this is Iron Ore West. This isn't where we want to drop off these wagons. Oh, and there's the steam train. That is very complex to drive. But it's very fun as well. There's a lot to do, you're just constantly busy. Especially like stoking the fire and stuff because you have to literally do everything. Um, so yeah, it's a challenge. But it's fun. So next stop is Food Factory and Town. So let's go for it. And yeah, you can get out if you want to, to, you know, have a look. Because you've got teleportation, so you can hop back in. Now, there's no time... Well, the only time constraint is, you know, if you want to try and get that bonus. So, you know, you can, you can risk it and try and push it a little bit. So you can get that extra monetary bonus. Um, which can be used to unlock a lot of goodies, really. You know, you, you need to... When you start out, you can only drive the diesels. You need to buy a license to drive the steam locomotive. And then you need things like the lighter and the shovel and stuff like that. You can buy manuals. Um, so, yeah, it's, it's, it's very fun. Now, we are dropping speed, so we must be really climbing uphill now. So I'm going to put on the sand, so we don't get the wheel slip. And I'm going to give it some welly. See if I can pick some speed up. But as I do that, you can see engine temperature is rising. So I can only do this for so long.
This is a long tunnel. Smed lights on. So yeah, this cab is actually quite spacious in VR. It's uh, it's really good. Now we pick up some speed. You see, as we get to the bit further on, you can see it gets quite windy. So we're going to have to go quite slow for that. I think what it is, we're going to end up going uphill quite a lot. And then we're going to end up coming down the hill on the other side. on that well, we're about to go into the yellow warning area of the engine temperature so I'm gonna have to swashle back a minute how are we doing with sand it has dropped a bit because it was up there one two I'm sure it was so I'm gonna drop the sand off I'm also gonna throttle back got some corners coming up and I don't want to derail so I'm even going to apply some brakes slow it down a bit there we go this is quite a steep tight corner actually I'm going to slow it down more Turn the headlights off as well now because we're back out in daylight. I'll leave the cab lights on so you can sort of see the dials a little clearer. But you can see the engine temperature coming down now. So yeah, we're on the windy bit now, so keep it slow. Slow and steady. Because I tell you what, when you go off one of these in VR, oh that's a hot stopping moment right there. And also, you got to remember that, although I might be on a nice straight bit now, the wagons aren't. So you don't want to, you know, jump the gun on hitting the accelerator. Always think about what, where the rest of your train is. And I think now I can probably just give it a bit more power. Over there. Ah, that's the other. So we'll be coming across there shortly. That's a bit over there on the other side, that bit of body of water. So, yeah. It's quite a way to feed factory in town, actually. We seem to be holding a steady 20, so. I think that's an appropriate speed. Look how long it is. Uh, while we're pulling all those. supposed to be pulling all those oh no hmm we're only supposed to be pulling the grey wagons oh dear so, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That leaves one, two, three, four, five, six, seven extras. How many extras do we have? Let's go have a look.
There's currently an issue with the uh, buffers as well, as you can see. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Now I can run, run along the top here. Do, 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 do. Yeah, we weren't supposed to be pulling these. Let's do a bit of Indiana Jones. Ooh. Can I on the top? Yes, there we go. So the question is, what do I want to do? Because I've got two options here. One, I could just detach them, but they will stay there. And then if I decide to play, when I decide to play next, um, if I come this way, I'm gonna come across all them. Or I could just continue hauling them. And that might be the safer option. There we go, back in the cab. Yeah, that might be the safest option, just keep hauling them. That was my mistake. I know I was going to make a mistake at some point. Just didn't realise it was going to be from the start. So there's another little tip. When you're choosing out your wagons, just make sure there's nothing else connected to them. Okay, so this is the other viaduct that we've seen earlier. So I think once we get to get past this corner bit here, there's not very many sharp turns, so we should be able to pick up a bit more speed. Which of course would have been a lot easier if I wasn't hauling twice the amount of weight. Heading towards that tunnel there. I do believe, yes. Look at all that. I don't know. Like I said, the problem is if I if I just drop it off here, I know full well that in, in another game I'll just end up running into it and I'll just I'll be stuck. There's already a derailment somewhere on the map as well from when I've derailed before. I can't remember exactly where it was. All I know is there's some coaches blocking the line somewhere. So I'm hoping to give it a bit more welly. There we go. It's taken a while to get here. Should be able to pick up a bit of speed now though, I would have thought. I say the corners aren't too steep. If all else fails, I'll just detach seven wagons. But no, me, I'd, I'd, I'd misclick the slider and end up detaching something I need and have to go back for it. Because I do believe they will roll down the hill. 
I'm not 100% sure on that. Okay, we're getting closer to 40 mile an hour now. I'm hoping we're not going too fast for this corner. Yeah, we might be going a bit too fast. So I'll just let things slow us down a bit. Because we are going uphill, so we will slow down naturally. Engine temperature is fine. Wheel is fine. Fuel is fine. Sand is fine. Put a fan on. Right, I'm gonna put some more power on. Also, look at that. I'm sure there used to be a map here, but I could be wrong on that one. I want to. When like first the first demo came out of this, like way before there was a big open world. I'm sure there was some sandwiches in here. Or there was a lunch box or something. I want. So how are we doing on the world map? Okay, we're not doing too bad. Might just keep it about 30. So I say it might not look it, but it is very easy to derail. That's why the game's called Derail Valley, I believe. You can come outside through the door. Consist, just to make sure that it's all still on the rails. It is. We are hemorrhaging a lot of speed. So I'm going to throttle up. I don't know how it's going to affect um, the jobs with the fact that those wagons are now going to be in the wrong place, if you know what I mean. The ones at the back. I don't know if that's going to mess up the job contracts from that station or whether it's going to be fine. Who knows? Oh. oh no. I derailed. I 
Really picked up that brimming job. Uh oh. It's looking okay. I don't see nothing. Oh. Yeah. So you see what I was saying about it? it can be really easy to derail. Yeah, that's this line blocked now. Whoops. And, oh no, that's derailed as well. That's the one we need. Hmm. Damn it. That's not good. We are, um... I've messed up. <laughs> I must have been going a bit too fast at the back there. And that's derailed. So that is game over for this run, I do believe. Unless I can somehow coax it, drag it back. Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. Take it steadier. <laughs> hey, that bumped a bit there. Don't fall off the viaduct. Do not fall off the viaduct. Do not fall off the viaduct. <laughs> oh dear, that's going horribly wrong. This might take out the rest of the uh, consist. Yeah, there's another viaduct coming up. Yeah. That's it. Game over. It's now well and truly stuck. So that is how easy it is to derail. Which is really annoying, considering the fact that turn the lights off. Uh, considering the fact we almost got there, literally just a few more um, bends, and we would have been there. So what you do when you do actually successfully, you know take a load to a station and not derail it. Um, what you do is you go back to the job validator and just insert this booklet. And then it chucks out a load of money at you. So yes, that's in a nutshell, Derail Valley. Um, living up to its name. Oh dear. Thanks for watching everyone. And I'll uh, catch you next time.